Owning a cat can be an amazing and life-fulfilling experience, but it can also be very tiring and sort of a nightmare, especially if you opt for a feline that doesn't go well with your lifestyle. Unfortunately, a Bengal beauty might be one of those cats. Even though she's gorgeous and exotic looking and can be a truly great life companion, she can also make your life a living hell. So if you have thought about getting a Bengal, here are 13 reasons why you simply must abandon that idea, especially if you're new to the cat parenting game. So let's get started. Number 1. They pee everywhere. A quick search of why Bengal cats urinate outside their litter box will paint a rosy picture of them having a urinary tract infection, kidney problems, or stress. Although these health problems can cause accidents, they are in no way the main reason why Bengals use the world as their litter box. What is the reason for this unthinkable behavior, you may ask? Well, they do it simply because they can. Whether they've made it their life's mission to mark every inch of your house as their own territory or find delight in the way your face crinkles when you discover yet another yellow puddle, Bengals seem to enjoy going potty all over your home more than any of their other pursuits. So, if you don't particularly like Odacat, my suggestion would be not to buy a Bengal. At all. Number two, if left alone for too long, she might destroy everything. It's never advisable to leave any cat alone for too long, really. And Bengal cats are no exception because they are very social and love to spend time with people. If left unattended for a long time, Bengals can develop separation anxiety. They can become lonely, which can lead to some destructive behaviors like scratching furniture, breaking vases, peeing outside the litter box, and so on. So, if you're someone who's not often at home, whose working hours are crazy, or someone who travels a lot, you might want to skip this breed. Number three, she can be very loud, and get jealous. Bengal cats are very vocal. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, try imagining a cat who is constantly meowing, chirping, trilling, and yowling, and then multiply it by two. That's how vocal they are. Maybe this is because of their desire to constantly be the center of attention. So, they're meowing to ensure you never forget they're there. And they can also get extremely jealous. If they see you cuddling another cat, your baby, or God forbid a dog, you'll definitely feel their dissatisfaction. This can be controlled by proper and constant training, but if you don't have time or energy for it, then don't get this breed. Number 4. She is a great hunter with a strong prey drive. Bengals cats are known to be excellent hunters with a strong prey drive, and although this might sound like a good thing, it can be quite troublesome when observed from a different point of view. A Bengal cat is usually on a constant lookout for prey. Many Bengal parents have reported that their vivacious fluffs regularly surprise them with special gifts, carcasses of small animals like birds, rodents, mice, and others. So if you find this disturbing, leave this kitty to someone who'll know how to appreciate these gifts. Number 5. She requires a lot of space. Due to their curious nature, their desire for adventure, and their size too, Bengal cats need a lot of space. They love to explore and play fetch with their owner and other various games. So, if you're someone who lives in an apartment, you might not have enough space for her needs. Number 6. Bengal cats do shed. I hear people say Bengal cats don't shed, but that is a big lie. However, Bengal cats are one of those cats that will make you think they don't shed while they actually shed. Ask other Bengal cat owners to use a white towel to rub their cat and show you, after which you see the shed. Even though their shedding can be controlled by weekly brushing, Bengal cats oftentimes grooming themselves. So, if you want a Bengal cat, you need to groom them every week to keep their coat shiny and healthy. Number 7. She is expensive. Getting a Bengal cat could possibly become your biggest investment ever. Not only are they expensive to purchase, but they are expensive to take care of. Generally speaking, an average price of a Bengal cat is between $1,500 and $2,000. As we have already said, Bengals don't digest standard cat food well, and they should be on a raw meat diet. And due to the high risk of UTIs or kidney diseases, they should be taken to the vet regularly. And of course, because they're very energetic, they need a lot of interactive toys, 
cat trees, cat shelves, and so on. All in all, if your budget is tight and you cannot afford to spend a lot of money on a cat, they consider getting a less demanding breed. Number 8 Bengal Cats Need to be Trained Early One of the reasons people say don't get a Bengal cat is that these cats, if not properly socialized and trained, can do things that will hurt you. A Bengal cat is not your typical domestic cat you will bring home and allow them to figure out things themselves. If you need a cat that you will not invest time in training, then the Bengal cat is not for you. My friend just looks elsewhere. Training can be easier if you start early socialization and training with treats and introduce your Bengal cat to all objects of fear. Number 9. Behavioral Issues Bengal cats include varying common behavioral issues like sudden onset of scratching and biting, litter issues, and loud mewing. If you want to lessen these problems, it needs patience and repetition. When these issues are in your cat, search for why the cat is doing like this. Sudden biting and scratching could be due to loneliness, and loud mewing could indicate that the cat requires something, while litter issues arise from cleanliness issues. Number 10 gets bored easily. Bengal cats, because of their high energy levels, get bored easily, leading to depression. Boredom is the most significant factor that leads to a problematic cat, and loneliness results in depression that could disturb your cat's mental health. They could scratch your furniture or can even attack your legs if they get bored. Number 11 Bengal cats require lots of care. They require lots of attention and grooming regularly. This means that Bengal cats are not good for first-time cat owners. If you need a cat to start with, then Bengals are not for you. Please look elsewhere. This cat requires experts to handle them. Some states have banned them because of how aggressive they are. However, it can be corrected from the early stages. In the USA, all generations of Bengal cats are banned in Connecticut, Hawaii, New York City, and Seattle. Number 12 Bengal cats are very territorial. Bengals become nervous when a new animal approaches their territory. They also like owning and delineating their area. This is why some people don't advocate adopting a Bengal cat since they are prone to getting into unnecessary fights with several other cats. They are strong and have good hunting skills, and they can easily kill any other cats who approach or try to enter their territory. However, this trait can still be corrected by proper socialization and training, but even with this Bengal cat still, go after small animals. Therefore, if you are looking for a cat that will allow or accept the presence of other small animals, then the Bengal cat is not for you. Number 13. The climb on everything. And I mean everything. Perhaps it is because of the DNA they share with wild Asian leopard cats, or maybe it is just their innate love for mischief. But Bengal cats absolutely love climbing and are damn good at it too. If they're kept indoors, there's a limit to how much frustration this can cause. They may climb up your curtains, or take naps on top of your cupboards, but their behavior shouldn't be all that annoying. The real trouble comes once you let them out or they get out of your home. Once they get a sniff of fresh air, every tree, bush, and wall is fair game, and you may find yourself having to walk through your neighborhood several times a week screaming your kitty's name while swearing at them under your breath.